Welcome to a narc free new year where I am going to read you excerpts out of my book, Healing from Narcissistic Abuse. Recover from empathy deficient relationships and emotionally unavailable people. If you want the link to buy this book, I will have information at the very end of the video. So watch to the end or just look in the links down below. Let's get on with today's excerpt from the book. Chapter two, page 34, the codependence goal interdependency. What is codependency? It's a term that has a lot of people thinking that dependency is a bad thing. It's not. Interdependency is the goal. The term codependency seems to imply that there's something bad about being dependent upon another. The only time it is, is when it's out of balance because there's no reciprocation. One is taking more than the other, one is giving more than the other. So the real issue here is not about giving, but about being overly focused on others. And where does this come from? It comes from training in your childhood that you're not a priority, you're not special, you're not important, and other people come first. You might be like me where you got told no, not now, and never a lot. Some of our parents came from a very old school mentality in an era where this kind of parenting style was thought to be a good way to build character in their kids through denial and not indulging children so they don't become spoiled. It's have it definitely been felt in my life. But my point is that if you were brought up for whatever reason with this constant messaging drilled into your head that what you want is not going to be given, now, not ever, it hijacks your sense of personal power and your own sense of self. Really knowing what your desires are and having the confidence to know that you can have your desires met is very important. It's a very critical developmental milestone to becoming a healthy, functional adult. Subtle things in your upbringing where you're taught don't ask, that's none of your business, this is an adult conversation, why are you being disrespectful, don't be a bad person, why are you putting your needs and desires out there, other people have priorities bigger than yours, sound familiar? When you're a kid, you might not add it all up in this way that I just did, but repeatedly over and over again, this conditions your brain to not prioritize yourself or to be afraid of prioritizing yourself. Plainly stated, it's brainwashing. And it often occurs in dysfunctional families because a dysfunctional family is basically where the members suffer from fear, anger, pain, or shame that is ignored or denied. If you're interested in purchasing this book, Healing from Narcissistic Abuse, Recover from Empathy Deficient Relationships and Emotionally Unavailable People, remember it is on Kindle ebook version. You can get it on audiobook at Audible, and you can also get it in print at Amazon.com. And for those of you who like to sit back and watch and listen, well, I've got the video version over at my Etsy shop. Links for all of these are going to be found down below. And if you want to watch the next video available on narcissism, click here. Thank you all for your support.